Hey guys, it's the front end student or Sam. We're on step 11 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web design, so let's just jump into it. Step 11 A link's text must be placed between the opening and closing tags of an anchor element. So, as you can see, example opening anchor element text right here and closing. Add the anchor text link to cat pictures to the anchor element. So let's copy this, and just like in the example, we've got our A, we've got our closing A, so in the middle, right there. Check our code, congratulations. So, step 12. In the previous step, you turn the words link to, to cat pictures into a link by placing them between opening and closing anchor tags. You can do the same inside of an element such as P element. Turn your P element into the words cat photos and link to this. All right, so cat photos, we're going to do anchor href equals link. We're going to close that, and now our cat photos will be turned into a link before the period slash a. Now we have a link to cat photos. Congratulations, next step. Now that you've turned the text cat photos, sorry, step 13. Now that you've turned the cat photos, ah. <laughs> now that you turn the text cat photos inside the p element into a link, you need to do you need to delete the second one or whatever so let's just delete this p element sorry i'm jumbling my words oh um okay let's re let's restart that i, I messed up something delete the entire anchor element below the p oh whoops i deleted the wrong thing obviously all right so we kept the paragraph deleted the old one Set the target attribute with the value underscore blank to the anchor a elements opening tag so that the link opens in a new tab. Now this is really easy. All we're gonna do in our um, opening anchor element is type target equals underscore blank. Don't forget to put the apostrophes or whatever. Um, by the way, a new thing I learned, um, a hyphen and an apostrophe, I think that's what they're called. It doesn't matter which one you use in HTML. All right, so we got our target set, congratulations. So this will open it up in a new link. Step 15, use the image, turn the image into a link by surrounding it with the necessary element tags. Turn the image into a link. Okay, so this is really, oh, we don't even have to copy it. All we're gonna do right here is do a href equals we're going to put this image into an anchor element um, Add the proper apostrophe stuff. Make sure to use closing tags because this is not a self-closing element. Now we're going to do slash a and that should turn our image into a link. Perfect. All right. Before adding any new content, you should make use of a section. Take your h2, p, and anchor elements and nest them in a section. So under h1, we're going to type section. And um, under our A element, we're going to type slash section. Um, it said nesting, so we might need to... Nope, oh, that's all we need to do. Um, I was mixing up... Sorry, never mind. It is time to... Step 17. It is time to add a new section. Add a section... Add a second section below the element's um, existing section element. So, section... Now let's close it slash section. Perfect, we got a new section going. Within the second section element, make a new htm h2 element with the text catlist. h2, might as well just finish it slash h2, cat lists. Perfect, we got cat lists right here, sweet. Step 19. When you add lower rank headings to an element page, it's implied that you're starting a new subsection. After the h2's element of the second section element, add an h3 element with this text, things cats love. So let's copy, the, why can't I copy you? Okay. h3 slash h3, and in most code editors, that'll just um, spawn for you automatically. Can't remember the word. After uh, step twenty, <laughs> I keep doing that. After the H three element with the things cats love text, add an unordered list element. Note that nothing will be displayed. All right, unordered list slash unordered lists. Perfect. 
All right, we're on step 21. This is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out the about page, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.